who just burped? <laughs> <laughs> Down here. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't, Matt, I didn't recognize any of the workmanship or build, did I? I'll water it. I mean. I wish I could smell that burp. You don't. I wish I could. Someday. Someday. FCG. Okay. We'll get you a sense of smell and you'll regret it. <laughs> Scattered across the front of the, across the way, you see one massive, out of place building, uh, built in a classic uh, Taldore style, almost like Tudor type construct. You can see the uh, the roofs are painted far more vibrantly brown than any natural wood should be. The exterior is, you can see the cracks that have been patched time and time again and then repainted over, a coloration that denotes not a, a natural build, but something that is trying to desperately keep up with the age of time, like a, like an older man trying to put on makeup to prevent from showing his wrinkles. Um, <laughs> on the outside of this, uh, you can already hear music curling from the inside. Uh, it's almost like a a jaunty violin with a faint drum kind of pop, 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 pop. Uh, there's some hitching posts immediately out front past a couple of tents. Um, and the front double doors, and it is like a, like a hinged double door that enters the front. Uh, you can just barely see from the interior a faint bit of flickering lantern light. Whatever sense of irony any of you may still hold, <laughs> abandon it now, it will serve you not inside. <laughs> Welcome to a Taste of Taldore! You step inside, and as the doors woof, swing open, woof, 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 behind you, immediately the smells catch you. The smells are a, a unique mingling of all sorts of, of baked breads and sweets, uh, a mixture of cooked meats and, and rolled, uh, lettuce-based, kind of a, a meat-packed dishes. Uh, you can see there is a bit of, of almost an incense brazier on the opposite end that is burning and filling this kind of gentle smoke. And it, it's a bunch of things that individually are good smells, but when they mix <laughs> together, it creates this almost Sephora-like blast oh, uh, no. uh, of, from all different directions. <laughs> as soon as you step through, <laughs> there, there are a, a, a smattering of tables of all different of makes and designs, all round, but you can see from different carpenters, there is not a single thread of of presentation to these tables, some with like melted wax and candles in the center of it, uh, tankards and uh, manner of, of, of decor that is reminiscent of non marquesian make. Uh, you can see banners and tapestries that hang from the, the high central walls that themselves depict uh, decently created pieces of art that some look like they're portions of maps, others are landscapes that some of you may find somewhat familiar if you took long to look upon it. Um, but in the open way, there is a, uh, a stairway that leads to a secondary balcony with a higher up table where you imagine the more esteemed customers may stay for a meal, um, overlooking the rest of the chamber. Um, here, you can immediately tell the clientele a bit sparse, um, <laughs> especially for first thing in the morning, no more than maybe like seven individuals that are currently here. There was one bartender across the way, but you do see three servers are racing around and conversing merrily with the individuals, one of which you see is a, a young woman dressed in fine armor and like red silks, almost like a long robe with gold. Uh, you can watch as she approaches and serves a dish to a couple of customers and says, and that is how Taldore greets the greats of the world, and steps back and continues back into, the, into the, the far chamber to retrieve another meal, while somebody else, you could see this man with a big, bushy, dark beard, his like sun-weathered skin wearing a, a large uh, kind of haphazardly made bronze crown, like a king's crown on his head, as he wields a large sword that he kind of drags behind him that you can tell is more for show than not. Subs so to another table and goes, and what, pray tell, do you wish to ask of King Dressig? No <laughs> oh way! My God. No. By that I mean, what would you like to drink? <laughs> <laughs> and you see two gentlemen sitting at the table. Um, uh, I'm just gonna have uh, have some water for me. Uh, what do you want? Like, I would like uh, just whatever beers you have on tap. Ha! Ha 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 ha! May the darkness of my reign bring you the drinks you require. <laughs> he turns around and drags the sword back over to the bar and begins to set his orders in there. Um, 
you can see now uh, the music is not sourceless. There is a music box that is dangling from a rope that is kind of wrapped across it in two different directions that just kind of sits, slightly sifting from the wind as it occasionally blows in, that appears to be producing a louder sound than you expect, though maybe not quite the the most on key at times. Uh, and occasionally you watch as one of these servers has to walk up to it when the music stops and wind it for a second before it continues to emit its uh, beautiful, uh, atmospheric uh, song choices. Mm. Um, you, as you stand there watching, another door opens, and the uh, the third server comes through. Uh, a tall Goliath figure, you know, half giant in blood, wearing deep blues and whites. His face painted like a blue and white coloration, and himself wearing this tall crown of what looks to have been handcrafted clay. Uh, almost like icicles that point upward, though some of them chipped and broken in places, and you can see it's have like been affixed and with wire in one or two spaces. Um, who turns to another table before looking at you? Ha! And who disturbs the realm of Erevon the Rhyme Lord? Oh, oh no! Oh yes! Oh, we we surrender. <laughs> Then you shall surrender into my realm <gasps> by the great mirror of ever watching. <gasps> How many is in your party? Mm. There's going to be one, two, three, four, eight. 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 <clears throat> Erevon requires two more chairs. <laughs> <laughs> and grabs two more chairs and drags them behind over to a table, <laughs> sets them up. Or oh. are these historical figures? Uh, it's to a point. <laughs> Are they accurate? No. <laughs> are you from there? Oh, uh, yeah. Orm and I both are. Oh, my goodness. Do they actually have those kinds of uh, fruity drinks? The, what is it? What are the, the, the fruity drinks? The, 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 we do the, have fruity drinks. Uh, I do wish to order drinks. of the, the Tadori Great Rum Extravaganza. That's the one! <laughs> mm. Oh do you all drink that? Where you're from? Is that like your your like the the the, the Ashari drink? <sighs> they bring that one in a fishbowl, right? I pretty much stick to keto. <laughs> but, um, my lord, we do humbly request your cocktail menu as quickly as possible. Thank you, my liege. Mm. Ah, well mannered this one. He might survive my frozen death still. No. Ooh, Waters. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, have a seat. And goes and pulls out the chairs, and you can see you're seated uh, behind this this massive, beautiful-looking mirror that has these kind of like intertwined ivy carving around the exterior of it. It has this kind of beautiful mid-forest aesthetic to it. Um, it's fa it's it's kind of a little off kilter, kind of facing towards the wall slightly, but like you're you're mostly before it and to the side. Um, as Erevon turns back after you all have your seat, I decree you will. Have your menu shortly, and turns around and heads back to the bar. I, I genuinely fade out. Erevon demands you decide on what you have to drink Aragorn. before you are frozen for all eternity. <laughs> Who are you, and what, what have you done? I am Erevon, the Rhyme Lord. Rhyme Lord. Dude. I am a great elemental deity that broke forth from the realm of ice and froze all of Tal'Dorei for many years oh, before no. I was oh. this is true. sundered and sent back to my realm. But there I wait, plotting to bring you the finest in service here at A Taste of Tal'Dorei. That, oh, wow. that part is true. That's impressive. Good. 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 Yeah. Is this the kind of place where they cook the food at the table, or is that something? Is that not this I place? I think if you get like the some of the platters and of things that they'll. If do you that. if you look on, the, there yeah. are stars next to the ones in the menu that have a presentation. Oh, Thank you. A little more practice, the but, but they're, they're worth it. Trust me. We should do. We should do. Yeah, you should yeah. do one of the presentations. Yes, yeah. yeah. also yeah. shareable for the whole table. Yes, yes, yes. Get four people to get <laughs> in your head. Let's do one of those. I want one of the, the ones that come in the big trough bowls. Do you want? Do you want like a fire vibe or an ice vibe? I'm a big fan of the ice vibe. Well, Although they got a few. Have a sample of powder platter. That's the chroma conclave. Ooh. Get a little bit of everything. Yeah, I mean, Teldor is a big place. Is there any Zephra uh, or Shari themed drinks on this cocktail menu? On the, on the cocktail menu, yeah. there is what's called an Ashari Breezer. Mm. Oh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> literally in my head, too. That's what I would uh, We'll take eight Ashari Breezers. Yeah, of course. What? First in druid start. magic. Okay, to start. I will have my revenge. Also, orthodox uh, pepper poppers, please. 
Let's see if we have any left. What is it? What is a disappearing Singorn sausage? (laughs) (laughs) That's for our late night clientele. (laughs) For the dinner menu only. Cool, cool. Oh, how late are you open till each day? We don't close. Oh, 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 shit! We came at the wrong time! <laughs> There's like a more limited menu when, as you get later, oh, but they okay. do have special things on it. A heavy table hits the center of the table, and there you can see upon it, uh, or a, a plate hits the center of the table, and you can see a, a cluster of small, like, dough balls as Erevan takes a deep breath and just breathes a gout of flame that sprays across and kind of singes the exterior of it. Oh, that's the pepper <sighs> It takes a lot for an ice being to breathe fire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now enjoy the conclave Thordax fire peppers. <laughs> and your uh, breezers. <clears throat> Puts the drinks out there. Oh, it's blended. Oh, oh, she was asking for the coloration of the drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm no. sorry. <laughs> that's misunderstood the scenario. Yeah. So no. Know, there's umbrellas. Are there little like uh, hang right, gliders so, so, for the hang gliders in them? So for the, for, for the breezers, they're they're inside the small clay mugs, and at the very top you can see it's like a it's like a faint bluish green, almost like like a Midori, you know, kind of coloration to it. Um, and it has a bit of fizz to it. You can see it's kind of like popping with some sort of aerated, uh, uh, you know, carbonated. yeah, it's been carbonated. You just killed me and brought me back to life. I thought he was like, it's just a small clay. It's a carpenter's cup. <laughs> Um, it doesn't warrant a fancy drink, okay. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It is. It's beautiful, and it's it's not quite as overt. But when you take a look at subtlety, is a bit mm, quite nice. Ding, 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 ding. A big bell. The bar begins ringing loudly, and the music from the music box immediately stops. And someone gets out a horn and goes. Here we go. Oh yeah. And you watch. And everyone turns around, kind of little. Not everyone. A few people turn around and look, and a number of them are like, oh. <laughs> also, just drink heavily. And the, uh, the the barkeep behind you, you can see, is an uh, an orcish gentleman stands up at the top and goes, "Harkon to all friends here. It looks like a great conflict comes to the taste of Tal'Dorei. There's a show, a historical moment. There's a show. There's a show. And you see." <laughs> From behind one of like the right. the doorways that has a, a large piece of cloth that just kind of protects it, you see the the, the individual dressed as Dursig is like putting on some armor, <laughs> and comes out with a sword that is like plainly like not sharp at all, and goes, "Aha! This realm is mine to rule, and I will. You shush your mouth or be slain by the Dark King Warindrasig." Oh no! He's calling you out. Now kneel before me, and suddenly behind, do not kneel before him. You see the woman who was going for for the first table goes. He is but an imposter, a terrible plague upon the free peoples of our land. And the guy dresses war and turns and goes, Zantaldore. As his beard kind of loosely comes off, at one point he slaps it back onto his chin. Indeed, I will free the great peoples of this land, and you will be nothing but a dark echo in the annals of history. (laughs) He goes, then, show me your strength. And he pulls his blade out, and she goes, yeah, and pulls her blade out, and you can see kind of whoa, 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 in a place. The uh, the orc on the on the counter gets down below and pulls out a quick fiddle from behind and starts like starts so like fiddling along with it. The two are going ting, 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 ting in a circle, just like just the most awkward, repetitive, non dangerous swinging of blades in a big circle in the middle. There's a, a couple of uh, of crawler gang members and forward guy are like. Aah! Stab her in the throat! And the guy's like, cut off his balls! And they're just like, ching, ching, cling! He knocks the blade out of her hand. Ah! And it falls to the guy and clang, 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 clang. And everyone's like, <gasps> And someone goes, I've seen this before. And just has a big swig. <laughs> On the ground, she looks and puts her eyes up. And you watch as one of the baubles from the ceiling begins to glow a beam of light upon her face. The spotlight that kicks in around the nude day performance they're doing now, the melodrama at noon, looks up. Ah, oh, oh, but the great prime deities, give your blessings upon me so I might guide the free peoples to true freedom. As King Drusig pulls his blade up, and then the fiddle stops, and another 
crank behind the counter begins to turn, and you hear this like crackling sound of voices going, and the squeaking of a ratchet as another sword is lowered on a rope (laughs) from the ceiling, grabs the sword, looks at it, as King Drasik is slowly recoiling, pulling his blade back, going, no! She pulls the blade from the rope, which takes a second to kind of pull it free safely before turning around and very slowly bringing it to his throat and kind of touching it there, and he goes, ah! Oh! Oh, she got it. I'll I'll transfer suffering and take half the damage. (laughs) Good on you. I'm really buying the whole thing. (laughs) He slaps his hand to his to his neck and then pulls it away, and there's just like a smattering of some sort of like red condiment. He goes, ah, it seems you were indeed the chosen king. And he falls to the ground, and she looks at her blade and looks down at him. I am no king. I am a sovereign. Oh, God. And there's this awkward pause. She stands up. Um, You've seen this before? Oh yeah, they have not changed the script one iota. I almost kind of missed this, does actually. It, does it get better or worse with the rewatch? Oh, so much worse and so much better at the same time. I love the theater! <laughs> <laughs> they both stand up, they grab each other's hands and give a, a bow, and you can see like in their faces, they're just soulless at this point. <laughs> this is probably the 600th time they've done this, and they know you don't care. And they finish. They turn around and they go back to serving the tables they've been assigned. As Erevan, the Rhyme Lord, goes back and like checks his makeup in the mirror and comes back. Ah, what else do you need from the Rhyme Lord? <laughs> do you have any specials on the cocktail menu right now? Something seasonal, my lord? Let me check. And he goes back to the bar and then comes back for a second. Uh, there is the uh, the Winter's Crest mixer. Um, if you would like something with a bit more of a a holiday spice to it. Mm. I'm feeling festive. Oh, what a terrible oh, thing shit. one must devour oh, to shit. celebrate the defeat of one such as the Rhyme Lord for <laughs> one's winter crest. How dastardly such an event is in the echoes of memory and history. Oh, woe be unto the <laughs> elemental kings, but vengeance one day shall be ours. And as he puts his hand out, he sprinkles cinnamon across this like bowl with a series of straws in it. It has like a like a thick cream based kind of rum drink that has all manner of like like it has like like red and blue and green little puff balls that look like they've been kind of soaking a little bit and kind of like it a little little soggy. And this is kind of slosh around and he sprinkles the cinnamon on it, and then there's like a like a little spray of sugar on top. It's like snowfall, but he just kind of throws it. Like he just doesn't give a shit anymore and then walks away. Oh no, uh. Silver, you're killing it. Dust. Thank you kindly, I'll kill you last. Ha 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 ha. I love take you this, so much. Take this back before I kill myself. Oh. Okay, there are three things I miss about this town. I'm actually admitting there are three things I miss about this town. Oh, okay. Mm. Can we get eight more Ashari breezers over here, please? Yes, we have the yeah. Oh my god. I had some of the trinket bear claws. Oh, oh, As you shout oh, this out, Erevan's over the mirror again, like applying some makeup that's kind of like sweated off the side of the cheek before snapping this little like hand case closed and spins. Right away, for I wish to treat my uh, quarry before I crush them. Ah! <laughs> And heads off to the bar. Here are the cups you requested to look at. These are fine, but a bit pricey. But these, here, and you can see, like there are a manner of these, like, like clay pressed tankards that look, by intentional design, like semi fragile. So you have to replace them fairly often if you misuse them. Um, but you can see on one side it has sculpted uh, what looks almost like a recreation of part of the architecture of the taste of Taldore. And as it spirals up, you can see it becomes like a cluster of kind of off-brand dragon heads that kind of like look like the conclave curling up one side. Oh and then on this, I just it all weird. yeah, like it just—it's it's not done. It's kind of slapdash and quick, um, but it, it definitely has like way too much iconography jammed into it, and it, it looks a mess. Ah, get into those cups, please. 
Discerning customers, you will make fine victims to the Rhyme Lord when I freeze your corpses and leave them an eternal winter. Thank you, you guys have been great today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a really slow afternoon and you've really kind of picked it up, so. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing like the gratitude of a theater major. Is it? Uh, uh, like, uh, you know, you, you don't seem like you're in a hurry or anything, but you're looking for family? Well, it's kind of. I, I'm, I'm looking for people that helped me. Helped you? How? Well, through the Feywild. Through the Feywild? Like they in the Feywild? Mm -hmm. Or to get here? Both. They, oh. you know, they show me around, and then they help me find a way back here. I don't know if I made the right decision leaving or not, but, you know, they were very kind to me. Who, who are they? Um, I have, uh, and I pull out, I have a little uh, locket, and I open up, and there's a picture. Of one person or two? Of two. Okay, what are they? Like? Of... There are two figures. Um, <laughs> while they're kind of like a, a, a gently drawn, painted portrait, um, both of them are unfamiliar to all of you except for you. <gasps> lore, lore. <gasps> there is two familiar <gasps> portraits of the Callaway parents that birthed you. The Callaway parents? Her parents. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Oh. 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 <sighs> How do you know them? In, from the Feywild. Do you know them? Yes. Yes, those are my parents. <laughs> what? Wait, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. What do you mean you saw them in the, in in the Feywild? Yeah. They helped me get back to this other side. Recently? Well, time's a little fucky, but. Well, yeah, I mean, I, 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 yeah. I don't see it. Yeah, I've been, and, and I know that they're somewhere around here. They're here? I think so. Did they you came, know that? They came through with you? They, we got separated. How? Here in town. I don't know, I don't know how fave bullshit works. But did you get pulled apart there or here? On, on the way, through the portal. Okay, wait, so like some portals. context. Were you running from something? Was it a, like a, a very leisurely trip? Were you in a rush? Yeah, I mean, yes. I, I'm, okay. So, I was there, and it was amazing, and it was incredible, but it's really fucking scary over there. Oh. There's all sorts of politics and, and like, lights everywhere. It's beautiful and amazing, right. and I just wanted to be there forever, but also, I don't know how much time has passed since I was went there or since I've come back. And so this really lovely couple took me under their wing and showed me around and showed me how to get back. But I guess the portals are just unpredictable. Oh shit. They're your parents? Yes, yes. May I see that a little closer? Yeah! Did they talk about their daughter? No! They didn't say anything about having a daughter. Ooh. They told me that they felt like, you know, I... It's not important, but it's... It's... <laughs> Do you know where they are? I I don't know where they are, and, and I've, I've been looking for them, but I... Maybe they just forgot. Because it's been a, a, a very long time since I've seen them. Well, you don't seem like a kind of person that somebody would just forget. No. Well, um, I just... Do they look the same in the picture, older or younger than I remember them? These particular portraits are copies of portraits that you recall at a young age. So these are them in their prime. Well, this is, this is Mama Birdie, <laughs> and this is Papa Ollie. Birdie and Ollie. And they're very wonderful, but I, I haven't seen them in, in a very, very long time. Cool. 
probably about, oh, maybe like 90 years. Oh. So, so something like that. Fern, is that how they looked when you last saw them? Or, or are they? It's hard to, to tell. Yes, but you know, this is a, this is, this is a drawing, so they could look, did they look like this? Yeah, a little older. Did, did you do this wonderful drawing or did they give it to you? I, I got it from them. They gave you a drawing of themselves yeah. to remember them, to find them? Yeah, How long you were that were close you? with them? With them. How long were you in the Feywild? That, do you know? Mm, I feel like I have lived a thousand different lifetimes in there. Or maybe, or maybe just one long one. Also, maybe we covered this and I missed it. Where were you before? Yeah, maybe start at the top and sort of take us through. It's all, <laughs> no, I don't know. Time dilates weird and memory is weird. And that's why the things, these things that I have on me, the sword, the portraits, and them, they're the only things that really feel real still. You feel real? Does she feel real? Yeah, sure. You feel real? Yeah. That's good. I mean, the weapon that uh, Dusk carries definitely has a a face centric design to it. It has a a, a natural, a, a, a beautiful but but natural design. The the hilt flows, the crystals kind of like give this natural sense to it. it you'd almost feel like it was pulled from the earth if you couldn't see like the finer details that were handcrafted. Um, yeah, there there is a hint of fey essence to the way they present themselves. Like design and clothing has some you know elements to the uh, the overall presentation of the smaller details. What did you do with them? Do you, do you know? I just have a lot of fleeting impressions of being so lost. I think I was probably before I went to the Feywild too. And then being found and having people to help me navigate that world. Yeah. Because it's terrible and beautiful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But what, what were they like? They were very sweet. You don't, do you remember them at all? Um, a, a little bit. I, I was very young when they left and they left me with my grandmother to keep me safe, but. With your grandmother? Mm-hmm. She lives there and she's my best friend and I, they left because they had to do something very important. I don't know what it was, but I, I, I've been looking for them. So, this feels like something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that you all have your business to take care of, but, but, I mean, maybe on the way, you know, we can help each other find them. Yeah, can I see that locket real quick? I just want to take a look at it. There's a mama, mama birdie. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Is this what they look like when you saw them last? Yes, it is. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. There yeah. you go. I can't believe I didn't see it. You look so much like them. I just, this is so bizarre. I just, that, the, that we happened upon. Maybe they were looking for you. Maybe that's why they're in this area. So, so they're in this area? They're here? I think so. 
I've been asking around. I've been here for a couple weeks. Wait, and what makes you think that they're here? Because that's where we got dumped out together. We got separated, but I assume that it was like in the same general area. It's the totally closest be... thing. And the fact that I just ran into you. Uh, what are the odds? This just feels serendipitous. Mm-hmm. I just think, I think, I think they're here. I think they're here, and I think we're going to find them. I mean, they said they were really important in the courts. Oh, yes. Very, very, very important. In the courts? Very, we're very, yes. Like the judicial court? No, the the Sealy court. My, my family is pretty, kind of a big deal. <gasps> you're fancy. But what does that mean? Like, you're royalty? Well... I mean, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. The C- the Sealy Court. Yeah. You're okay. A, you're a princess. A lot of well, I yeah, don't know if I, I if I would be a princess necessarily. Well, you're a princess. No, 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 no. Oh, sure. I mean, my parents would call me that. <laughs> but. Mm-hmm. Are you fucking serious? You're a princess. I mean. Are you Princess Fern? I certainly could be. You can call me that for sure. I mean, I didn't know they were like royalty, royalty. Like I just know that they're. Now I feel bad for being well, fucking I mean, like I mean, shitty to Dorian. You know, they're they're. We don't necessarily <laughs> have like a, like a like a like a seat. like king or queen. No, it's not necessarily like, that. It's just we're just very well known. We're just like a very well-known family. This feels so complicated. Yeah. yeah. Like an influencer. And my, my aunties, my aunties work at the court. Why, why would they leave the Fey Realm if, they, if they're so important and, and, and high up in well, the echelons? I, because they're they were on a very, very, very important mission. You are? No, my parents were. They, oh. had to, they had to leave. That's why they had to leave me with my grandmother because they had something very, very, very important to do. In what where? Do yes. I don't know. But that was ninety years ago. Well, I. And you may maybe. Have been there. What if? What if? What if she was the was mission. there? The mission. Yes. How did you meet them? Do you remember? Do you have any siblings? Not I, I know wish of. I had <laughs> answers too. I have this ability for. I could potentially try to reach out and make a connection with them personally. And now that I've seen that locket, you know, I know what they look like. I'm I'm familiar with their names. I might be able to sort of find them. She's very capable. She's very capable. She's so capable. I think we should try it. Could narrow things down. It doesn't hurt to try it. Yeah. Did they have a nickname that they called you by? Or was it Fern, Fernie? Princess. Princess. Holy right. shit. Um, oh. And what about you? They didn't call me that. I'm just kidding. Oh, all oh, right. Well, that. They just called me. Fern. They just called me Fern. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah, I will. Um, yeah, come on. I will close my eyes and I'm gonna try to reach out to Birdie. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Let's take a turn. All I can hear like a buzzes of thoughts as I start to open my mind up more. Mm-hmm. Birdie, I'm here with Fern and Dusk. They're both looking for you. We're in Basara. Are you close? We want to find you. There's a long pause. And then responding, a voice goes, I'm sorry, um, Out of personal care and mistrust and safety, who am I speaking with? Spells I got. I forgot to tell him who I was. 
was talking to you. Did uh, you hear me? I did. Uh, uh, oh my gosh! But I do. they didn't uh, tell me where they were. They they were a little mistrustful of my voice. Yeah, under, understandably. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Is there something I can tell them so that they something know that, that I'm? You would know for him? Yeah. Um. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness! This is so exciting. Um. Okay. Say that um, Fern's window at Grandma's um, was the big round window. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, they remember my 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 bird, Doctor Nesbit. Nesbit. <laughs> um, um. All right. Let me. Dust. Do you have anything you want to tell her? Um. It, it, oh my God, she's alive. Just, just that. Um. Uh, the glade, the, the glade. Okay. I'm gonna reach up. Oh, 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 and, 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 uh, uh, um, bumpers, um, and, 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 and flompers. Those are, those are all my, my, my buddies that are there. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll start with these. Okay, and then, okay, okay, okay. All right. This is Imogen Tamalt. I'm their friend. Fern's been reminding me of her round window at Grandma's house and her bird, Dr. Nesbitt, while Dusk has been mentioned in the Glade. Immediately the voice responds, oh my goodness, our Fern, our Fern! Did you hear that? Uh, you said Bosserus. We're a few days out from our next trek. We'll meet at Joe's. 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 <laughs> they were so happy. She was so happy to hear. She was? Yeah. And I think she was trying to call for your your dad, I, I think. Um, she said they're a few days out. But they wanted to meet here at, at, at Joe's? Does that sound familiar? It's Joe's? Does that sound familiar? Mm, both of you make a history check. Joe's. No problem. Oh, nope. Nope. Three. Oh. Four. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, you have no idea who that is. You're going to have to ask around. <laughs> Joe. I've never went to any fucking Joe's. This is incredible. That was amazing. <sighs> I, I can't I, believe I, this. I can't believe this. This is so wild. This is... <sighs> Long time coming. Yeah. Um, I just got so nervous. It's been a while. <sighs> I, I... Thank you. Thank you so much, and I take your hands, and... I, I, I don't know how I can possibly thank you. Is there anything that I can do for you? No, you're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, but thank you. Your friend was really right. You're amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. How can I help you? Hi, do you know of a place here called Joe's? Joe. Joe's. Or is there anybody that goes by that name that might be have an establishment of some sort? Uh, not nothing rings a bell to me. Hold on. Dunno? Do you know of a Joe's? Dunno. And the uh, the waitress dressed as Zan Taldore comes around the corner and goes, <laughs> "Jose, you mean like um, like over in the in the ends, Jose? The Mahara Jose? Uh, but maybe. What what is that? Uh, he, he's one of them. It's one of them tinkerer types. Works with a lot of the crawler gangs. Okay. In the ends over there. <sighs> okay, in the end. Can I use my Hunter's Bane to look at Dusk with knowing that she's been in the Feywild that long and just see if I notice anything about her, her clothes, her rapier, anything that sticks out as like Fey? Uh, make a perception check. Right? Woo! 
Where are those original dice? <laughs> Shout out Cody Jacobson. Uh, fuck, that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. hey. <laughs> it's as <just, laughs> good as a word is original. Uh, oh, but I have advantage. <laughs> that's I'm true. Right. That's true. Oh, that's cock. That's cock. That's cock. That is, that's <laughs> uh, 14. 14. We can tell that she's talking to somebody because her eyes cross while she's talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, no. <laughs> That's canonically what no, happens. <laughs> you do not have a flesh tongue and I do not cross my eyes, all right? Oh, I beg to do. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. I take a knife like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> Fixed. That <laughs> beast. Oh. It's the worst. I would say if you're going to ask around, ask around in here. It's relatively safe. You're not going to get into anything, but just in general, be a little bit more careful who you talk to out there. Do not. Well, you're going to anyway, but try not to seem like tourists. I'm gonna Until you get robbed. Okay. Uh, so we'll take off the paper crown. In here is fine. <laughs> oh, no, in here is fine. <laughs> the paper crown. This is. It suits you. <laughs> All right, you rush over to the bar, and there you see these the orcish gentleman that kind of like emceed the battle earlier. You see him. He's um. Chetney. You good? Do you do engraving? Of course. Um, <laughs> could I have you write to Mama Brody and Papa Ollie on it? I mean, yes, just in in common, plain font. Would you like more calligraphy and like filigree? <gasps> yes. Clearly. Well, is that longer? Is that an extra charge? Not for you. Really? You're giving it to me for free? <laughs> yeah. Would you like anything in return? Let's just talk about it later. <laughs> 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 just, just one section, or like a whole, the whole side of it. I just go. This Fucking is nuts. all go nuts. This oh is your God. artistic expression. Do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Comic Sans is an odd choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a flurry. It's yeah. just a flurry. At which point, your final round of Ashari Breezers <laughs> arrives to the table. <laughs> That that rock that she had. Do you um? I think I saw her holding one. Yes. Um. Well, she got really attached to it, mm -hmm. and you know, of course, I didn't. I was just concerned about her and her well-being, and mm -hmm. um, her and just her mental state here recently. And I, I was afraid that maybe the the rock had something to do with it, and um. I kind of got this impulse in the back of my head that was just wanting me to to reach out and, and touch it, and I thought maybe I could discern something about it. Maybe I could I could sense a, a bit more of its origins and its purpose. And um, next thing you know, my grip locked onto it. I, I couldn't open my fist, and I lost control of my body and. I felt the searing heat going through my arm, and and then it was over, and I looked down, and the rock had shattered, and I could hear more like feel Delilah in, in my mind, like she was more powerful or, or satisfied, and she said something about how it was very dangerous and how I've, she's protected us from its dangers and 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 that was it and the, and the stone is broken I, I, I actually still have oh. the shards of it and you think okay and you think she's upset with you because you broke her she is she is upset at me she was instantly um you know in tears and Oh no. Um, she she thought I had lied to her because I promised her that I wasn't going to take the rock. I just wanted to look at it, and so so she thinks that I lied. Oh, well, and, well, okay. And well, I don't I don't know what to do. 
first of all, you've already done the first step, which is just talking about it and getting it out there, okay. right? Yes. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, do you feel any better having told me? Um, I think it's, I'm still processing it. Okay, okay. Um, because at some point, you know, you'll you'll probably need to have this conversation directly with her when she's ready to hear when she's ready to hear it. When she's on her toes. But I have right? a question for okay. you. You said you reached out and it was an impulse to squeeze it, an impulse to to break it, uh, fueled by some sort of voice in your head. Just yeah. are you sure? Are you just just throwing it out there? Mm -hmm. There's no. You're, are you jealous of Imogen in, in any way? No. Or are. Do you, do you, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just saying, like, is there anything that she does that that you that you that you wish you could do, or that uh, that, that a, a, an ability that she has, or a, or a heartbeat, or something that that she has that <laughs> that you don't have that you maybe you know subconsciously wanted to sort of get back at her for? No, no, it's not like that. I, the only thing I've want for Imogen. It's the same thing that I've always wanted for her, which is to have a life and a youth and to, to go out and to see the world free of, of any type of burden like I had to experience. You want these things for her because you can't have them yourself. Yes, I just want her to live her best life and to protect her from something that might hurt her, and I, I, I just, that's what I thought I was doing. That's a very noble thing to want for someone, and it's it's very generous of you to want that for her. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm so sorry that you're going through this, and I would love to sort of facilitate a meeting of the minds if, if, it, if, if you'll be up for it, and maybe I could talk to her and tell her how how stressed out you are, and oh boy, you just pulled out a clump of hair there. Um, <laughs> if, if, with your permission, I could try to arrange a, a neutral space, a safe space where you, you both could talk. Okay, um, well, well like you said, I, I want this to all be on her terms, so, um, what should I do in the meantime? What if she never comes around? She, what if she will, doesn't she want to be will. friends again? What you if know it's what? ruined? You know what I would say? I would say, um, uh, let's find a, a time when you both are in a, in a space where you can both communicate openly and freely, but not just any willy-nilly time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Don't just go up to her and start talking about it. Make sure that she's in a in a place where she's happy and safe. She feels safe. So keep her happy. Well, I mean. And keep her safe. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe just work on yourself right now. Just call which yourself. one of these um, plastic swords do you think she'd want? Just wooden, wooden swords. I don't know if they have plastic. Yet. Doesn't strike me as a as a as a. What about the oven replica mitt? Replica sword, an oven mitt. She, everyone can use that. I think she could. I could hide her hands. You know, if she or keep sure. them warm. Uh, does she cook? But no, I don't think so. Well, it's still nice. You can. Yeah, it says T O T on it. What do you think that means? Taste, taste the tab door. Oh! Tina, <laughs> 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 give me your tots. <laughs> Tina, come get some tots. It says, t it says tot holder right there. <laughs> <laughs> tot holder. Yeah. That's fantastic. God. That's great. I think she'll she'll appreciate this. But you know, I'll get her this pencil too. Sure, but you can't buy her happiness and you can't buy her forgiveness. But I, do I, do it anyway, because it can't hurt. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, you did nothing wrong. This was this was fine. It was a mistake, and you'll make up for it, and you'll be better for it on the other side. Okay. And I I, I think you're a wonderful person. Well, former person. Thank you. Fresh, fresh cut grass, and you, I, I, I hope you weren't offended by what I said at the table. You are very gifted and talented oh, as no, no, no. well. And you were trying to build yes, her no, up just, to yeah, cover for your insecurities. Exactly. Sure, I got it. No, I feel it's fine. Okay, we're good. Okay. Nope. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Would you like a, a 
pencil as well? Yes, I would. All right. Uh, two pencils in this pot holder there. I'll, I'll say hi and just see if they they have communication skills. Okay. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Am I reading you? Hello. The person at the back of the cart kind of smiley day. Okay. It's so curious how they're so different. I agree. Um, do they not have souls? No, neither do I. <gasps> I, this is a don't question of debate. In the group. Know if I agree with that. Well, I'm like them. When well, you're like no, you. No, you're not like you're them. Not. Well, I'm just G. a bit more sophisticated in my design. You have thoughts. I hear them. I have a complicated set of inputs and outputs mm. that have been designed into me. I think we can agree that you're a rarity. FCG. <laughs> Have you ever thought, maybe, you're like me? You were once alive. Ooh. And now, you're in a puppet. Whoa. Whoa. If I had a mind, it would be blown right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, that could be true. What if I'm a... A shell, a husk of an old person or something. Oh, but now you're you. That's pretty cool. Exactly. I feel like it probably doesn't matter so much about what the shell is like, so much as what's uh, in wherever. Um, I don't know. Yeah. What? Yeah. Do you have a, a, a heart? Nope. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I must admit that I'm. I don't share that. That. Confidence. I would really like to know what I am and where I came from. What do you want to be? I'd like to be like you all. I'd like to be able to smell and and taste and dream and fart. Oh, that last one, that last one's not necessary, no, but it seems good. it seems like you all really like it's, to do it's it. Funny. <laughs> I mean, if you had mentioned this before we left, we could have had Milo work that in. I don't feel like that's, the, I don't feel like you need a soul for do that. Anything can do that. Just the action of it, but the, <laughs> the internal satisfaction, the the cosmic satisfaction that you all seem to feel. That's <laughs> true. Anyone who says they don't like it is lying. That's true. It's a really pleasurable experience. It is. Bodily functions rule. There's these metallic cages that hold within them these faint, kind of bluish purple gems almost that just kind of crackle and glow with arcane energy. And occasionally you see them spark, and they kind of flare, and bits of arcane sparks shower out and kind of glitter to the ground and scatter a bit. Um, I could be a cat, I could be, oh. I could be a capybara, I could be, <laughs> I could be a spider. But well, I feel like, what about like a quokka or something? I could be a quokka for sure. You know, maybe very I would charm sweet. them. Maybe yeah, I would charm very them. Charm them. Mm -hmm. you, it's unique, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, let's. I like the idea of splitting the party. Maybe we just take a you minute. Look up a quokka. Well, yeah. yeah how do you spell it? Q U O K A. -K -A. Q -A. You keep role playing. We <laughs> could. <laughs> we could just watch for a little bit. Yeah. But. Yeah. I kind of <laughs> do like getting in there. I fucking love fuckers. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. oh that yeah. That's got big. That's like the perfect. That's got big something. fur and energy. <laughs> I run over to them and I am now a a a quokka. Can you be a quokka? Real round, real round butt. Just oh real my. round. Roundest of butts. be so cute. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot everything we were talking about. You're the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my, god, oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my god. Screw it, screw it, screw it. This is all we're doing today. <laughs> you must never change back. Make, wait, make the face again, make the quote face again. <laughs> 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 Dusk.exe has stopped working. <laughs> I'm gonna run in. I'm gonna run in. 
I'm gonna run in. Yeah. What's that? Have fun. Bye. Yeah. I'm gonna run in. All right, run. Here you go ahead and run on up to the front to the front gates. Thank God. <laughs> Their gates. Is there any any bit beneath the the gate? Uh, there is about an inch and a half below the gate, in places, because some, at some points the, the the gathered dust and kind of sand and dirt kind of rises up to it, and you can see there's heavy patterns where the gates, when they swing open, they push past and kind of leave these kind of gate angels, if you will, in the ground. Um, but to that point is for very little space. Are we just looking at pictures of Kokos? Before, oh, before I leave sure. the group, I give Dusk a little bit of a lick as an apology of, I'm sorry. Um, okay, okay. Um, I just have to share, because um, I searched if Quoke was Burrow, and I couldn't find that answer, but I did find that I guess Quokas throw their babies as a manage of self-defense. If, 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 if they get scared by a predator, oh, they throw their baby at it. Take my kids! <laughs> and then No, they don't. No, they don't. What's the source? What's the source? Uh, abc.net.australia. Oh. Oh, oh, no. That's a kid's. Uh, like, yeah, like right. That's right. Like That's a kid's. sacrifice of babies in order to escape. I have never <laughs> identified with a creature more. <laughs> In my entire life. Well, it's incredible because you consider that they're yeah, throwing their children as a means of self-defense with the biggest smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry. Okay. These, these shape really, really took off yeah. this, this so, episode. As you are sitting there, round, fuzzy butt, large smile at the base of the gate. What do you do, Fern? Um, I'm gonna try to just start. I'm looking around and just try to start scraping <laughs> and burrowing where there's like the. Where I see the biggest separation in the gate. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll athletics for me using the. I say I'll say for this creature, just go ahead and roll. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Okay. You begin. You begin to dig, and dig, and dig, and about five minutes go by, and you're making some decent progress. But it's going to take you a little longer, but you can do it. Do it. I'm gonna. I'm committed. I'm gonna work so hard. While Fern is just breaking a, a furry sweat, though Quoka. they can't sweat. Quoka is breaking a furry sweat. Fern as a Quoka is is, <laughs> is panting uh, due to the inability to sweat um, and digging furiously. What are the rest of you doing? How's it going there, Fern? Well, it's just I'm working real hard to just get under this gate. All right. At about the ten minute mark. You can try and push through. <laughs> Make a strength check for me. She gets it's stuck under that damn too. door the same way she got on the other one. Yes. Ooh. Eight. She gets stuck under the door. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to see if there are, oh, if there's anybody inside that I can just smile at. What? <laughs> is she okay? Try to charm. She's charm. She's really charming. She's charming. Okay, so the gate is about that thick. And you dug underneath the majority of it, and your head just kind of pokes out this way, but your midsection is just kind of stuck. And you guys can see these little legs kind of like kicking yeah. in the area beneath. How you doing there? It's just, give, just give me like two more seconds. Okay, because I, I can I can always pretend you're my pet that got away. Yeah. Is it always like this? Yeah. Pretty much. You come out the other side, Bunk. and you're now inside the courtyard. <laughs> I did it. All right. Well. Okay. You're cute and noticeable, so you know, move fast. Okay, I'm gonna skitter to where I think the <laughs> entrance of the building is. Okay, yeah, you can definitively see <laughs> an entryway that leads into the, the fortress. Um, it is out in the open across the courtyard. Um, there are, you know, stacks of supplies and things along the way that you can dart to as you want right, to go. Right. Uh, I will need you to make a stealth check. Okay. Yeah. As as a a rotund, not minuscule creature, so um um eight. Oh eight. god. Uh, okay, cool. So okay, cool. Uh, you stop rolling like dog shit. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> sure uh, you first you you wait for the guard to pass who hasn't noticed you yet. You skitter across a good like fifteen foot range and kind of get behind what looks to be a almost like a a hay bale, but it's not hay. It's some other kind of like dried grass that was. Brought from or farmed somewhere nearby in the Hell Couch. And you're going to get there, back up behind it, glance over. The next thing you can see, what looks to be two barrels open, 
um, uncertain if there's anything within them, but they're just kind of set out in the open, either to collect water or they contain something for quick access for the people within the courtyard. You rush over to it, and right as you're about to get to the shade behind them, you feel a hand grab you from the torso and lift you up, and a voice go, Oh goodness, what's this? <laughs> and like, baby you, Adam. you feel your world <laughs> whip around up into the blue sky, and you see the, just the dark kind of uh, exterior rim, kind of, 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 of a shaded face, up, kind of framed by the sky above. And as your eyes focus a bit, you can see what looks to be uh, a tough looking woman warrior, um, shoulders exposed with scars, muscular, um, has this like wide, bright white toothy grin and uh, eyes that are kind of green like jade. Um, her skin is very, very suntanned and her hair is almost like a, like a bleached white that is in a, like a back braid to protect it that kind of goes past the shoulders. Uh, she's wearing some leather armor on the shoulders and um, you can see what looks to be a gold uh, chain around the neck that carries what looks to be a, a bird's skull with like a, like a golden mask over the front of it. Um, and she kind of picks it up and goes, Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Who are you? I I start shivering. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know what you are, but you're adorable. Oh my god. Have you seen something like this? It's like What the heck is that? Oh, what is this? This is this is adorable. Oh my How is this alive here? Did it just Did it escape? Was it like some sort of uh like the exotic animal that escaped? I don't know, but it's mine now. I found it. I'm going to call you. What should I call it? And the Mick uh, leans over and goes, Call it Kila, because it's ironic. It's like, <laughs> no. I'm going to call it Fuzzbottom. Come with me, Fuzzbottom. And kind of puts you under the arm and kind of like cradles you like a baby and begins to carry you towards the fortress. I just nuzzle into her. Okay. I love this. You see some of the other kind of guards like stand up and look over, and she kind of like <laughs> pulls you away from there, like giving them a look of like, this is mine. Step <laughs> off. Um, the Burn. swishing of yes. sights around you and blue sky suddenly goes to darkness as you're brought within the interior of the fortress. Is everything all right? Yes, someone um, has now taken me as their pet. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I'm inside. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. She's doing good. Are you sure? Yeah. You are carried from hallway to a left turn, down another hallway, mm -hmm. down a set of stairs, oh, down another gosh. hallway, another left turn. Yes, I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna memorize this. Okay, so uh, you're, you're trying to keep this all in mind as you go. Um, and you can see you're passing by other kind of uh, Arched doors, simple. Uh, you see another person step out and move past. These look to be like subterranean barracks, um, living quarters for various Paragon's call individuals. I'm also looking around for Armand. Right. Uh, roll a perception check for me. Okay. 14. Oh, oh okay. 14, not too bad. Okay, I'm keeping that in mind. Meanwhile, while you are being brought through the hallway and keeping watch on the low lit interior, the occasional kind of. Uh, Tinder burning brazier or oil burning lantern hang on the inside. Uh, are 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 Quokka's, uh, low light creatures? Let's I find out. Are, I doubt it. I'm gonna say no, because just for the sake of it. <laughs> they're, they're out in the daytime. But what if they're they not? Ones. Someone will give them. Continue a to look it up, but in the interim, you are brought to a a simple barracks chamber. The door opens, and your captor. Uh, they're nocturnal. They're nocturnal. <gasps> All right, that does help. Okay. Um, so to that point, you you do not have disadvantage on your perception checks, Great, which okay. is good. Um, you're brought into this this chamber where there are uh, three bunks set up, kind of cots within the room. There are a few like foot lockers, kind of arranged around the base or underneath them. Uh, there's a couple of small weapon setups and some armor racks that are affixed to the nearby wall. Um, but it's just a plain, simple underground barracks. Um, you can see there are. Looks like personal lock boxes beyond just like the foot locker that sits at the base of the bed. Uh, but as you're brought in the chamber, the woman soldier who brought you in sets you down and goes, Oh my god, you're so cute. Um, let me see what I got for you. 
Ugh. and she rummages in the footlocker and pulls out a small satchel and kind of opens it up and has tobacco. Um, I go over and just pause and just sniff and try to just be real cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so fucking cute, I can't stand. Oh, stop it! <laughs> stop it! You're too cute, it hurts my heart! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Okay, hold on. Um, I'm gonna give you a pastry. <laughs> pulls in and pulls out a, a small, like, like dried bran muffin type thing and breaks it apart and hands you a piece. Oh goodness! Just look at you. Okay, enjoy that. I've got to get back to my uh, my post, but uh, don't go anywhere. And we're gonna cuddle up tonight. Oh! <laughs> if you're gonna poop anywhere, poop on his bed. I'll just curl up in a little ball. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Shh. And then leaves the room and closes the door behind you here. Oh shit. I'll take a nap. Real <laughs> <laughs> tired. Um, oh. Okay, are there any windows in the room? Are there. No, it is a no, subterranean barracks chamber. There okay. is a singular door out, and it is currently, you assume, latched or locked of some kind. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> Wait, can I you can I talk to her? I can't yeah, remember this. Yes, that's we, right. We're, we are connected. Okay, so I'm just taking um, a, a, a little bit of uh, just lounging uh, on a bed right now. Uh, what? Of my new owner. <laughs> um, but I think she closed me in. I'm gonna get up and just try to see if I can nudge open the door. Like okay. my my. My paw. It's not moving. Is okay. It going okay. Uh, well, she's not injured. Yeah. It's dimly lit in here because of the the torch sconce, but you have pretty decent vision in the light. Okay. Is so. there any other any other doors? Any other openings that maybe I could make an investigation or through? perception check? Your choice. Okay. okay, okay come okay, on. Okay. Come on. Do one double digit oh, roll. Can you, <laughs> yourself, can you guide yourself while you're a, a little? No, you cannot no? cast okay. spells in these. Check. Check my hunts personal. Fourteen. Belongings. Yeah. Fourteen. Uh, glancing around the interior of the chamber, the only egress is the singular wooden door. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna start scraping and crying. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so no. scary. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's fun, that door. Okay. She's trapped, she's trapped, she's working her way out. Fern, please keep us posted. I will, I will for sure. You've only got a few more minutes left before I cannot talk to you anymore. Okay, it's, everything's gonna be fine, don't stress. <laughs> keep scraping and keep scraping and keep scraping and keep scraping. Uh, about two minutes pass, uh, three minutes pass, four minutes pass, and right about then, you hear, <coughs> and the door opens, and you see a large looming figure there with a sword act going like, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> what is this? What is this little one? And reaches over and grabs like the scuff between the shoulders and kind of picks you up a bit and lifts you in front. And you can see now this this rough looking gentleman in his thirties. He has like sunburnt patches of skin, like fresh peeling that you can see in places. Has kind of this jagged mohawk that's kind of more bushy at this point that goes down to the back. Um, is wearing just a simple tunic over like a. A, a stringy but muscular body, but definitely like more of uh, not, not as, as bulky as he is lanky. Um, and he has a short sword in his hand that he was just about to stab whatever was right there, and kind of just holds it and kind of got, is holding you there. Grins with a uh, a smile that contains most of his teeth. Um, it's because oh, you are just adorable. Well, you might now. <laughs> Closes the door, looks around, and kind of tucks you into the chest, and walks a little further down the hallway. Heads right down another Peeking hall. Peeking out, seeing if I can see anything else new. Make another perception check for me. Mm. Uh, nine. Nine. Did okay. Per perception? I is have high perception, perception, but I can't no, 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 use mine. Can't trust a no, 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 you it's your perception. Your perception. I can use mine? Sorry, as when, 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 when a druid takes an animal form, they get to keep their mental statistics. Oh, great. Better than you thought. I've been rolling way better than I thought. Okay. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> and it's fine, it's fine. I'm We're here now. 16. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yes, 16. That is so much better. Yes, that's so much better. <laughs> With a 16, 
you move, you move past, and there's mainly just closed doors. Uh, on this lower floor, as he's pulling you beyond to the left, there is actually an open, uh, not even a doorway, just an, an, a, a hall that leads into a larger, well-lit chamber to your immediate left. And as you kind of glance past and look, you see what looks to be a table. On this table, there are all manner of sheets of paper that are stretched out and held, un unfurled with different weights at the corners. Um, you can see what looks to be a number of chairs off to the sides. There are candles lit and glowing as well as other lanterns in the vicinity. And there are three figures in there, uh, two of which look to be uh, other Paragon's Call figures, though well armored and dressed. And the 16, a third that you do recognize. Uh, you see a half giant figure. Uh, the one that beat the shit out of Ashton General at the ball. General Ratash. You start General growling. You start growling. Uh, oh, 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 what, what is that? No, 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 don't growl. We're friends, it's fine. And just keeps walking down the hall. Okay. Goes to the right, opens another door, and there's somebody in there snoring, goes, ah, shit. Uh, I'm gonna put you in my footlocker. A little bit of food. Just hang tight until my shift is over, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna come I'm get you. I'm gonna start wiggling, and I'm gonna try to wiggle away from no, it. I, 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 all right, I need you to make uh, an athletics or acrobatics check, which will just be a straight roll. Okay. Oh God, it's a natural one. Natural. You wiggle and wiggle and wiggle, but he has a firm grip on you, and he's like, oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, goes in. I'm gonna bite him. Okay. Uh, I'll say just go ahead and roll, roll an attack. Oh god, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. It's this is so stupid. It's better than Roll an attack. Am I adding great. anything? This is great. Uh, no. <laughs> eight. <laughs> Straight up eight? Yeah. Okay, so you, so you do bite. Um, and you, and you, you catch, but I don't know if it's the patch of skin itself is pretty tough, or you just aren't used to having strong jaw muscles with this two creature, but you, you're not breaking the skin enough to really do some damage. You bite and you sink, and he's like, ah, ow, son of a, you're gonna learn manners. I'm gonna try to spread my legs and arms so he doesn't put me in the box. <laughs> okay, he, op he opens the footlocker and is like, no, you gotta, just help it. No, you're not supposed to. And the other person begins to like rouse in the bed and is like, what is that sound? This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing, go back to sleep. It's like, what, you bring a cat in here or something? What's that you got? It's, no, no, it, it's, uh, uh, <sighs> I was like, staring pauses. He goes, You know, we're not supposed to have pets. <laughs> mm. Closes the foot locker and stands up. Fuck you, too. Poof, slams the door on the guy who's napping. He used to walk back through the hallway, kind of holding you out in front. As opposed to now a pet, it's now like a rodent that he caught and is just like backtracking through and goes, uh, Seems like we want the kind to be nice anyway. And walks past, kind of backtracking. Now across that room once more where you see the figures in there. Continue on down, now to the right, to the right, up the stairs, and walks back out into the courtyard, kind of holding you out in front. And the woman that first caught you turns and goes, oh, I, oh, and just has to kind of like swallow her pride in the moment. And the person goes like, found the rodent, open the gate. The two of them go by. Let's rush in. <laughs> one, of them, one, one of the guys goes, Send it to me, I'll chuck it over the wall. And it's like, no, it's too cute. <laughs> Open the gate. And uh, two of the gentlemen go over and start hitting these heavy cranks. Open the gate. Can't hear you anymore. Oh, shit. Is this the front gate or the back gate? This is the front gate. Okay. Let's fucking go, one rush. the back. But there the It opens up ever so slightly, like about a foot wide, a foot and a half wide, before they stop, and just takes you and. No! Chucks you at a twenty-foot arc. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have to uh, I will no. say. <laughs> I will say just the sake. This make a dexterity saving. Okay. Please take damage. Oh my god. Did you say dexterity? Yes. Okay. Uh, Thirteen. You roll with it, and as the your your furry body hits, 
it's you don't impact with any rocks. It's you don't end up like oh twisting God. the wrong way and actually hurting yourself. You just roll with it and <laughs> getting dusty and stop <laughs> kind of coughing. I turn, I turn around real quick and before the doors close, I just smile at him. <laughs> Shouldn't have bit me, asshole. And he steps back as the gates. <laughs> Um, I uh, message Dusk from afar. Oh, oh Dusk! Oh, Dusk. You can do the thing too. Hi. Hi. Hello. What's going on? Um, it's well, uh, Fern turned into a really cute quokka and just <gasps> ran across the street and then uh, uh, burrowed underneath and then now she's caught and um, she's getting a tour of the place and stuff. So I feel like oh. we should probably meet up and everything and, and, and uh, you know, reconvene with all of the information that we have hmm. right now. Honestly, oh, this no. is... Part for the course. <laughs> yes. Sounds course. like it's going great. Let me check in with the others. Hold, please. Others. Um, so. Oh, shit. I put Dusk on hold. <clears throat> oh, Dusk. Dusk. Oh. Uh, hello. So, sorry. We're still debating. Um, okay. Keep holding. Oh, <laughs> Except, I put her back on hold, it's fine. Um, um, okay, let me update Dusk. Oh, Dusk! Hello! Um, all right, so, we kind of want to like see how this plays out. Um, we're gonna keep watching the front. Worst case scenario, maybe we'll cause a ruckus. This is horrifying. Um, <laughs> sorry that my messages aren't as peaceful as Imogen's. No, all right, no. do you know? Like okay, all right. Mm. As, as we're walking towards the front, um, hey, um, are you? Are you and uh, Latna, um, the thing? I'm sorry, what? Are you in? Are you in Latna thing? A thing? Like, what do you mean? Like, mm, romantically entangled. Um, no? Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, because I was, you know, kind of getting some vibes and everything, and they, um, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could see it. Yeah. Yeah. Good talk. So, Ladna, <laughs> I was wondering, mm -hmm. uh, Imogen, uh, you, you and you. <laughs> <laughs> Going somewhere, but thank you. <laughs> wait, are you, uh, wait, what? What? Uh, what? Well, what? What? Potholder? Really? <laughs> I should have gotten her the T-shirt, okay, and fresh cut grass. Well, no, Talk you, to me out of it. It's, it's not pot holders or T-shirts. You, you, you must have done something pretty fucked up if you are in like pot holder territory, right? I did something so okay, fucked up. Okay, it's okay. No, she's she's in fine. Just come on. Come I don't on. want it. Here, come on. Just have a little. Just come on. Come on. Just, just, I don't want it. Uh, uh, don't need. It just collapsed in ash. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> the worst. She's mad at me. Now, clearly. She's gonna be fine. Cause I'm a terrible friend. No, you're not a terrible friend. Come on. I am nope. The... Nope. You're not a. You're not a terrible. <laughs> What do you cry, by the way? What is this shit? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it comes out as a little black and no, inky. I, you know, that's, it's just it's so cool. scary. No, I, I like it. It's cool. It's just I wanted to make sure it's not going to stain. <laughs> there's, I make no promises. Okay. Okay. Do Do you want some friendly advice from someone who has literally pissed off everyone they've ever met? Okay. Okay, I don't need to know what happened. It's not for me to know. It's your business. I broke her rock. 
Oh god, it was one of the, the shiny rocks, wasn't it? She loved it so much. Okay. And I killed it. Was, <laughs> was it an accident? Yeah. Okay. Does she know it was an accident? I don't think so. Okay. Well, this is so much more than I bargained for. So you well, got black snot on your shirt. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. It's seen worse. Really, it has. Uh, Are you sure? Oh, maybe not. It's not okay, but. Oh, so. The skirt, the wipe. It's, it's what it's there for. Okay. Uh, maybe you should focus on an apology that's related to the offense, if that makes sense. Maybe. Maybe let's focus on instead of. I should prostrate myself on the ground. No. On top of a spiky rock. I mean. Let her step on me. I'm not going to tell you not to do that because that would be kind of <laughs> cool, but no. I think maybe we've got to figure out a rock based apology, if that makes sense. I said a spiky rock. Yeah, but like. <laughs> like thematically? More than thematically, like a, an understanding of the offense, if that makes sense. An apology that actually speaks to what happened. Do I have to get her a new rock? I mean, I don't know. I could replace putting that. some energy into a new rock might not be a bad idea. Okay. So maybe we need to find you a nice rock for 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 image. Do you think that would help? Would that feel a little better? I feel a little. Confused on the messaging. <laughs> I'm working with what I got here. I can try and find her new rock. I should have got her the T-shirt with that. I don't think the T-shirt would have. Wait, what's happening right now? Oh, okay. ah. We should focus no, on. No, no, on... no. This sounds very important. No, it's the tail really. End it's, of it. Is it mission coming? Wait, is it mission coming? It's the belly of the beast. Here, here, no, no, just, no, just go for it. Go for it. Is it what? Oh. I'll, I'll, yeah. Uh, continuing your way in the south southwestern no, side no, of the city. Mm. <laughs> I can't. I, have, I cannot win. Uh, <laughs> a very dual leap of you. I respect that. Um, some beasts of burden that are kind of pulling their way through the street. You can hear the squeaking of wooden wheels. She made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> What does? Let's just start making our way. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. 